Apparently, 3% of the Department of Defense's budget goes toward energy, and they want to get that down. They're a very, very big energy user. So this is an affordable four-bedroom home for anybody in Fairbanks. This, this shape, the shape of the building, reflects what the students came up with. Mm -hmm. But what we embedded in them and the way they lay out mm -hmm. is, is it varies. And then, on the supply side, you can so greatly reduce it. So that little unit up in the corner is the heater for this house. That's the furnace. That is a diesel long haul truck rig heater. That's what we're heating our rural houses with. And it's too big. So the house is so efficient that when we use diesel, we use an off the shelf, super light, affordable, direct combustion diesel heater that you use for a cab. This is going to do the cab. This house used 130 gallons of fuel oil in a year. Uh, it could have been heated by this a little larger small wind generator, okay. just hot water, yeah. to produce hot water to heat the house. What you put over the spray foam? It, elastomeric coating okay. in a color. What's this color? This came off our uh, test module, but this is just an elastomeric okay. coating. So it holds and up to the That's condition. right. And the bones of that house are just light metal studs. It's a regular aluminum stuff. Oh, okay. So these all nest and go in a plane. In the case of the Anaktubic house, uh, the structural members were inside and then we sprayed on the outside. This is fairly... We've been spraying foam insulation in, uh -huh. in Iraq and Afghanistan, but not putting anything over the outside. Oh, oh gosh, and, no. And have had a lot of oh, problems. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. But this has been able to withstand kids getting up on the roof and sledding off. And all kinds mm -hmm. of, it's, it's super tough. They had two bedrooms, they had studios, they had three bedrooms, they had four bedroom houses that needed to be built. This same truss could be integrated in any of those houses and you just add on a piece after piece oh, after piece. Okay. So get them on a barge, get them up river, and let's see how quick we can put these together. They built, how many houses is here to help my memory? 10? 10. 10. 10? We built 10 houses in six weeks. <laughs> Is that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, at these remote uh, uh, theaters where, where we're finding ourselves engaged in, they're creating villages. Uh, the villages for the soldiers, and, and perhaps villages that, after we're gone, uh, can be places for the local people to live as well.